26 candles illuminate the night sky. One for each of the 20 innocent children and six adults who lost their lives in the horrific shooting massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School. My first reaction was to cry. My heart went out to the people there because I have a grandson who's in kindergarten and my first thought was it could have been, could have been him. Oh no, not again. It can't be happening again. I was devastated and I just sat on the edge of my bed and I just cried. Three days after the tragedy and hundreds of miles away, this northern Michigan community is overwhelmed by sorrow and pain. I try to wrap my mind around the whole thing. I can't even imagine what the parents and the family the first responders are going through. As they struggle to make sense of the unimaginable, the Manistee community comes together to show their support for those struggling in Newtown, Connecticut. We care, and you're not alone. The whole country is behind you 100%. We are one nation under God, and that we uh, will always pull together, we'll always be there for one another, uh, no matter how many miles we are apart. After lighting candles and saying prayers, the vigil ended with the release of 26 white balloons. Charlotte Bacon, Jack Tinsel. In memory of each victim. It just hurts. It just hurts. They're not ours, but they are ours. We're all one. So it's nice to see everybody else come together. As the road to healing and recovery is only just beginning, those who came are reflecting on their own lives and focusing on what matters most. Couldn't even imagine, you know, if this was to happen to my grandchildren. Or I hugged them and I made sure they knew how much I love them and every day I will tell them how much I love them. Don't take life for granted. Hug them a little extra every day, no matter what. In Manistee, Kate Fox, 7 and 4 News.